The Five Languages of Appreciation in the Workplace by Gary Chapman and Paul White. An employee performs incredibly well if he is motivated and completely comfortable with the office culture and environment. However, the majority of the time, people feel strained and undervalued at work. It's because of the way they are being treated by the bosses and managers, which eventually leads to continuous disappointment and discouragement. On the other hand, an appreciation can create a better workplace for employees and help companies improve motivation and retention without a huge cash outlay. It is what Gary Chapman and Paul White address in their book, The Five Languages of Appreciation in the Workplace. But before that, why workplace appreciation? In this highly intense and competent business era, retaining quality employees is turning out to be an integral element of business success. According to the studies in the United States, only 12% of employees leave for more money. 88% leave for non-monetary reasons. For example, not feeling supported, trusted, or valued. So now you have a brief idea about why workplace appreciation is equally essential for the overall progress of the company. And to achieve it, let's dig in deeper and understand what these five languages of appreciation really are. The five languages of appreciation in the workplace. Word of affirmation. When an employee hears or reads something good about himself from the boss, it gives him a solid boost to take his effort to the next level. So, as an employer or manager, you should affirm your team using written or spoken words, such as praise for accomplishments affirming someone's character. Quality time. At the workplace, all employees should be treated in the same way without any discrimination or favoritism. And to make sure that a perfectly friendly atmosphere is maintained, give undivided personal attention to each of your teammates. Whenever having a conversation with the managers, executives, or any member of the organization, spend quality time with them. You can do this by having conversations, sharing experiences, conducting workshops, providing guidelines, and doing small group dialogues. Acts of service. The best way an employer can eradicate a communication gap between himself and the rest of the employees is by doing acts of service. This can be done by pitching in to help and get things done. For instance, if your team is working on an assignment and you know the better ways to complete it successfully, dive in, coordinate with the assigned team, take things in your hand, and work with everyone as a team member. Tangible gifts. It is yet another sensible move that works as a token of appreciation and creates a positively impactful atmosphere in the office. For example, you can arrange tickets for a movie, soccer match, or concert to make your employees feel relaxed and rejuvenated. Physical touch. This language isn't just about bedroom. Hugs, pat on the back, thoughtful touches on the shoulder or arm are all ways to show concern, excitement, and care. Physical presence and accessibility are crucial, while neglect or abuse can be unforgivable and destructive. That's it. Let us know what you think about it in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos.